way We just been working all night and all day And with the real and we kick out the fakes And you know we still get a noise complaints Hey, hey, we do it best Alright guys, welcome back to the show And today, I'll be playing some Part to Ryan 4 With some mods included and if you're wondering what the mods are, I got um Liberated countries or nations, whatever you want to call them uh, a mod that makes Hitler's, uh, or Germany's, uh, flag, the Nazi symbol. Got a mod that, uh, makes training soldiers faster. And I got a mod, uh, that I can have instant war so that I don't have to wait, like, a hundred days. So, what we're gonna be picking, I actually haven't played as this country before. We're going to pick the British Raj on regular. We're going to be playing on as British Raj, a.k.a. India. We are, and right at this point, uh, we are a puppet to the UK. So, uh, let's start. Alright. So... We don't really start off that strong either. But the first thing I'm going to try to do is... I'm pretty sure anyone who knows me knows exactly what I'm going to do, but you never know. Go grab some factories. Make some support. And we'll go on. Get rid of that. We're going to make some military factories. Get out of there. And we're going to... Okay, we are not that good. We need that. At least I think so. We only have two research uh, bars or slots, which isn't that good. That's really bad. We aren't that developed, I guess. Apparently, Britain doesn't give us any stuff, which is dumb. So, we're going to pass the time. And the other thing I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab all my soldiers. My divisions. Do that and assign them all right there. When they get there, I'm going to train them. Because I can. Remove this. Okay. That makes it a little easier. So year is 1936. So nothing has really happened yet. Hitler's being Hitler. Getting rid of the depression. And what I mean by liberated countries. I mean stuff like this. And this. And. Uh. That. And a whole bunch of Africa is actually independent. If you can't tell. But, um, we're actually not going to be doing that much in this video, because we'll have to do quite a bit of rebuilding. And one of the first things I'm going to try to do is try to gain independence and go communist. And there, uh, there's my flag, my national unity, my political power, my, uh, manpower, which is really good, and four million... That's really good. So basically that means I can have a lot of soldiers. But none of them are in training. Because I don't have the equipment to do that kind of thing. So yeah. And the first things we're going to do is that we're going to take uh, Nepal and uh, Bhutan. We might go after De 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 Tibet. Or we're going to go after Pakistan. Probably Pakistan. We're probably going to take over Pakistan. Just because they are a bigger threat than Tibet. And if you can't tell, China is, well, modern day China, this entire region is just broken. And also, Korea is also a uh, country by itself, not uh, puppeted by uh, Japan. Pretty weenie. So, we're going to wait a little bit longer so I can actually do something, because I can't really do anything. Also, one more thing I forgot to say is I also have Road to 56 mod, which, if you don't know, adds a bunch of things to the game. More uh, national focuses, more gameplay and all that. It fixes stuff, 
fixes a couple glitches from at least what I know, but I'm not entirely sure. But Road to Fix E6 basically adds a whole bunch of mainly the most popular thing is that the national focuses, which is basically uh this, right? You can choose whatever you want. I don't think this is in the vanilla or original game. But um right now I got 51 days left and I'm probably gonna go after passive change probably and then I'm gonna go down to communism and if you're wondering why well uh, you know just there's just a little felt just a little a little tiny country that's like in the north just just a little one I mean it's not that it's not that strong I mean it's not it's not really strong but you know, maybe you can get things working. You know, you know what I'm saying. And if you're wondering, the Americas are from from like a little quick glance, they're about the same. They're pretty much the same. You got FDR sitting in his wheelchair, looking pretty happy. Automatically dislikes Germany, racist. Oh, it's a joke. You got Canada. Yeah, I think if I'm correct, Canada is supposed to be part of the British, the Brit, the British Empire or whatever you want to call them. Um, there's nothing really in here, just this entire thing at all. There's nothing gonna be important happening here anyway. So, and also in Road Fifty Six, I also allows uh, more uh, countries like form factions. Since I started this in the 1936 there's only gonna be just uh or like by default there's only gonna be the axis the allies and the common turn which is basically the communists the not really sure what to call them because they're not really all democratic and then there is just germany and uh korea right and at least for now there's gonna be other countries joining them so we're still waiting for the troops to get there so I can start training them, but they're almost they're almost there. Oh look who it is. Oh boy, this pretty much happens in every single game, doesn't it? Oh boy. Let's go check over to Spain. Even though this happens literally every single game. And uh R R National Spain is fascist, you got Republican Spain, which is uh, yeah, they're they're the best ideology of all time. So, this guy, his this beautiful man, has the right idea. But um, most of the time he loses. He does lose because for the nationalist, uh, Italy and Germany mostly ends up helping him. So he they that's why he mostly wins most time, unless more communist states are in place and. Oh, sweet, I can start, uh, exercising to go out and help them, but most of the time, National Spain wins. So, how many troops does, uh, they, do Pakistan have? 5D8, and they have over a million manpower, almost 2 mil. That's, that's nice. That's just beautiful. Oh, might have to go to Nepal first, though, but before I even do any of that, I actually got to you know, get out of being a puppet, which is going to take a while, like, a long time, like, eh, it might actually not be that long, but, um, we're going to wait for that, so I can go passive and then just turn communist, because communist is, like, the best ideology ever, it's the best idea that has ever happened, it's literally the best thing ever, because of Joseph Stalin and whatnot. Alright, got that. Let's go passive. Sure, why not? Now we just gotta wait 69 days. Sounds fun. But, just, uh, just gonna grab that. There we go. There we go. Now we're just feel pretty satisfied by myself now. Got a supporter bringing some communism. 
0.10% daily. But right now, communism is 1.20%. Oh boy. This is going to take forever. Alright, it is the 1936, April 14th. And we're going to leave it off here. Right now, nothing really important is going to happen for the first year. Germany isn't going to really do anything. They're mainly just going to try to rebuild. So no big wars are probably going to happen until I get uh, independence or try to because it's probably going to be a civil war. This is going to be the only really big war that's probably going to happen in the first two, uh, probably year and a half maybe or something like that. But then again, China might try to unify China, the land. Japan is probably going to try to take all that and unify itself. But um, So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Comment, like, share this with your friends and family. And don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.